the stay is over, and while the other kids head to school, it's work of a different kind for Adam and Brittany. It doesn't matter what kind you wear, just all hair has to be covered. And that's volunteering at Christ Table, a homeless shelter. Would you like hamburger meat over potatoes? Okay. And would you like some vegetables? Would you like a biscuit over hamburger meat? While this is all about helping others, Adam seizes the opportunity to yeah. help himself. So do you guys, do you guys like frown upon the use of marijuana quite a lot? Well, it's illegal it in Ohio. But it, oh, is it hard to get? Is it hard to get? Yeah, here? over here. If you, you know the right people, you can get anything in Zanesville, Ohio. I'm telling you that right now. I'm definitely keen for a session. I have been as soon as I got off the plane here. Oh, I mean, most of my friends, man, like, they all started drug dealing once I left. And back home, you know, you ask any, any school kid, and you can pretty much get your hands on any, any drug you are. But the hunt for drugs has proved too difficult, so Adam settles for a hit of nicotine, which, as we know, is against the rules in the household. I was just pretty keen for a cigarette been days without it and I decided I, I'm gonna get in trouble and oh well. And trouble does come Adam's way because in this house if you break a rule it's double punishment. One from Cassandra now and one from Nathan when he gets home. I'm not doing double punishment. I'll sit here. You can make me a... I know you're strong, because you're going to have to be moving my arms to clean that. So you're cleaning it with me. That's double punishment, because that's going to be two of us doing it. When he comes here and he has something else to say, I, he may say... It's one party. It's a family. That's what you say. That's not what we say. <laughs> well, good luck. I would rather then discuss this with both of you. He's not here. And, and, you need, and it needs to be taken care of now. Well, it ain't happening then unless we come to an agreement. We're not coming to. You're not here. That's your problem? Yeah. Everything has to be agreeable. But I disagree with it. And I so what? To stand, I'm so standing up for what? what I agree. Who told you you get to stand up? Who told hippies that they should look after the trees? It's their opinion. And they stand for but it. But when you come to a place, everything doesn't go according to the book of Adam. This That's what you need to understand. Right now. She's inviting you under her roof, man. This She's is not how life works. And you're That's disrespecting your her, man. That's everything has to be agreeable. You only do it if it's justified. You're double punishing me. I'm you're, not double you're punishing you're me. Stacking up I'm not but I didn't ask you all. It opinion. doesn't listen to you, man. She she gets you told. Are why are you her on why, her own roof? Why are you comparing right yourself now. to her? Shut you're disrespecting up. her. And you're disrespecting me. But why are you Adam, Adam, sit down. And you're cussing under her roof? Sit down, More Adam. disrespect. Adam. Talk relax. shit. Get hurt. We're talking. Sit down. I you this is to you. Except open your mouth. I didn't ask for your opinion. She's not allowed to state her opinion. So why should you be able to state yours? Just take a break. You me. went and take a take a break. We're taking a break. Take a break. It's Adam's world, Adam's way, or no way. So no matter how I shift it, he just made up something else because it has to be an order from him. Oh, flip this. I come into your household and I respect your religion, your views, everything. Hey, you're in the cheap seat. Shut your mouth. <laughs> You're in a cheap seat, buddy. Yeah, just, just, just let it go. This is between he and I. Let it go. Keep your focus on your uh, Oi! You shut the up! Come on. Uh, no, not in my house. You're not, yeah, Adam. Right now, Adam, the cops will come hit me. Exactly. Jail Punch jail me. Jail Knock me out. Knock my teeth out. Adam, I've been no, hit so don't many don't times, dog. Don't, I've don't been nailed by all my family, dude. Hit me. No. I've been hit so many times. Hit me. Please I dare you. Do, you'll go I, to jail. Will you stop? You'll go to jail, no, I and I won't care. Excuse me, Brian. I'll be missing a tooth like a hockey Brian, player. Brian. Take your shirt off. Brian. Look pretty for the camera. Ryan, get a hold of yourself. Oh, you need to kiss. shut the up. Oh, come on, come, Adam. Come on, please, please, get Adam. Out of my please. face. Please, come Wait. on. Please. You're getting in our face. You're a piece of. 
Now, Brian, I mean it now. Stop. Not another word. That's yes, it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's go. 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 You're a piss. Oh, I know you, bitch. This was a an experience that I had never experienced. Actually stepping in the midst of a fire, not knowing what the consequences would be for me. But I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not doing the punishment twice. I said if it was a group. We're not talking right now, okay? Okay. And I was actually was pressing him up against the wall so he could let some of his anger energy go into the wall. You know, because it, because he was just wired and just, you know, I could, could see him calming. Okay. But uh, I don't know. What I'm saying to you, if he goes lipping off, uh, then it will listen, escalate. You know what? I don't. You're gonna be the big guy. Yeah, but that's the challenge. That's the challenge I want to give you. Excuse me, please. I'm going to my aunt's house. All right, Brian. Hey, before you go, there's a. Uh, a uh, uh, moldy word which can be used to describe what's happened. What's happening? I mean, my, my Brian, opinion just of, of listen. you. Brian, it's my, no, just I'm listen. Fine. No, he's talking, so be respectful. Yes. If okay, he's, no, you're no, far no, enough. Don't worry. I'm listening. Don't worry. I think he was trying to say something nice. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, but you're edgy. No, I'm don't, not don't, being, don't worry. Then just listen. I'm just nervous. I understand that. Okay. Okay? No, just walk away. I was going to say sorry, but, you know, bite me. That's a moddy word. Brian. Well, someone apologizes. He's going to be in a brat. But so what? That's why he's here. Brian. Brian. Why I'm going out. Don't push me ask. They've been in Ali's house just two hours, and Richie's already throwing the new rules out the window. No, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's up there like, oh, I feel rude. <laughs> I was just like in a bit then. Where's Richie? I don't know. Don't know. No. Okay. Now I'm going to go play in the park. I don't care. <laughs> he went out. Huh? Okay. Richie? Yeah. Come. How old are you? 17. Good, very good. But you're just behaving as if you are 10. Huh? Can you give me that pocket, please? Cigarette pocket. No, I'm not giving my fags. Don't go through my pockets. Don't go through cigarette. my pockets. Yeah, okay, but... Yeah, but don't go through but, my pockets. But you're smelling cigarette. Yeah, and don't go through my pockets. But you just taught me that. Yeah, you never smoke. I knew you were going to take my fags off me. You don't have my fags. Richie, where's that? What's what? This one. What? Don't go through my pockets. <laughs> don't go through my pockets, I swear down. Don't go through my pockets. Can you give it to me? Get off me. Nah, don't go through my pockets. Just go here. Get off. Get off. Oh, 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 don't. Get off. Get off. Listen. Nah, get off me. Richie. Don't even talk to me. Richie, nah. Richie, Richie. Get off me. Uh, get off. You, you are in my house. Yeah, then you I'll go. Listen, listen, listen. What? Knowing everything. Yeah, cool, get off. Accepting I'm going. Get listen, off. Listen, 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 listen. Knowing everything. Accepting everything you are here. Yeah, get you off. You know me. what I mean? Yeah, do you want to get off me now? Yes. Just sit here for a while. No, I'm going. You said go, so I'm going. I'm not putting up with this shit already. Get off of me now. Get off. What are you doing? Where are you going? You said go, so I'm going. Just tell me. Just tell me where you are going. Go. On. Just tell me where you are going. Go. On. To the park. To the park. Yeah, to chill. Will, 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 you, will you sleep in the park? No. Yeah. So where will you sleep? In the park, whatever. Richie, come in. Nah, don't push me. Rich, Richie, Richie, I'm not pushing you. Go and sit over there. So you tell me to go in my room, and then you tell me to go, and then you say you go in the park. Just sit here. It's too bad. It's too bad. And I'll talk to him again. I'm not going to get on with him at all. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the food. That Finally, I came upstairs. 
and I sat down, already annoyed. Are you not feeling well, Whitney? My head's hurting from your annoying stories. Your head is hurting what? Probably from the stupid farm. Innate objects can't be stupid. They're inherently neither good nor bad. You have an answer for everything, don't you? You have an answer for why you always have an attitude. Do I care? When you have no respect for authority, you're, you're in for a very difficult long road. You pride yourself on lack of care. I am a really special you're, person. You're, I know, you're... I know. You don't have to tell me. I know. There's a word for you <laughs> called, it's called really? e egocentric. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? What's that word? It's a psychological word. Really? You were just so smart, aren't you? You shout <coughs> selfishness. Wow, that's <coughs> awesome. It was quite a shock to all of us to see the level of disrespect that Whitney showed to Paul. But I've got you figured out. Really? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Whitney was just being sarcastic and being a little smart ass, and you could tell that Paul was getting kind of fed up with it. The glasses are a way to keep the cover up going. That's what's happening. Actually, I'm trying to cover up how tired I am of your annoying stories and your <laughs> attitude. All you're doing is digging yourself home with me. We were just so shocked how much she was insulting him. He just deserves more respect than that. One thing that you need to probably remember about me is I'm not your daddy. I know you're not your dad. Right. That's one thing you're not. That's right. Oh, yeah. And I'm not, I'm not as confused as your parents are. My parents aren't confused. Yeah, they're confused. You That's why you're here. Don't talk about my family. I'll, I'll talk about whoever I want to. Don't get the away from me. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something you're not going to do. The you're, one thing you're not going to do is You're going to control this home. When you're out of control, somebody's got to step up and get control. We're seeing the real Whitney coming really? out. Really? Yeah, yeah really? we are. Let me tell you something. No, you're not gonna push me. You're gonna learn that you're not controlling this home. You're just unraveling right now. We were all just sitting there appalled. Whitney got totally out of control. She's gonna have to have a little time to calm down. What came out this morning was not our doing. It just hurt for her so bad because it's not her fault. I understand. Yeah. That's how I feel. How do you, you feel? You weren't raised in the same home she was, Emily. Well, if she had grown up here, that would never be happening. But she didn't. Well, uh, I know that. And she thinks that our life sucks because we're not like her. It was totally unnecessary for her to act that way. She just has a bad attitude. <laughs> I just can't stand her. What we have to what we have to do is try to help her. Hey Whitney, can we talk? She can't handle a lot of pressure. So what I'll try to do is re-enter with the soft step. I want to put the shoe on the other foot, so to speak. You know what I'm talking about? You be Whitney the mother, and I'll be Paul the kid. And you were genuinely trying to kind of communicate with me, talk to me, and I just went, yeah, nope. It's none of your business. What would you do with me? I don't know. Do you have any idea? It's not as easy as it looks, is it? And he asked me what I would do, and he's a kid and I'm the adult. I guess, like, some things I can understand. I might have had a little attitude, but you did not have to bring my family into it, saying they're confused, you know, whatever you were saying. Don't appreciate that, okay? I might have went off on you. Okay. And I'm sorry. I accept your apology, okay? I don't have any animosity towards your family at all. I'm sorry that your feelings got hurt, okay? Because that's not my intention. So the only thing I want to ask you to do is to try to work with me. And when you get your consequences, you don't flit and, and sure, you say, 
okay, I'll do it. Because it'll say, okay, she went off, but she pulled herself back together. We good? Cool, great. So at the first opportunity, he wants to talk through the house rules with the teens. See, now that you are in part of our household, there are a few things I would like to be very clear upon. Only wear respectable Indian and Western clothes, casual jeans and decent tops permitted. For Indian girls, definitely. Respect is to cover their body. That's the thing. I'm in India, but I'm not Indian. Sometimes someone's image means a lot to someone. As a parent, I must tell you that we don't have to attract trouble once we are out on the street. You are going to go to the school tomorrow with the children in the school dress. In the school, in the school dress. dress. We may like to change the hair color. Uh, who? Yes. Yeah. yes. Change my hair? Yep. No way. Good luck. Saved by the bell, Ashwani's daughters are home. Model examples of school children. Hi, Akriti. Hello, Papa. Hi, Anushka. Hi. Come. Worst problem is the hair I'm facing. But Ashwani is not done, and the talks recommence. If you have to go to school, you cannot go like this the way you are. Why do you want to bring yeah. a disrespectful want... thing to us? What's disrespectful about our hair? I don't understand. Like, you're kicking up a big fuss. It is not acceptable. Everyone has a right to their opinion because of human rights. You're not talking about human rights. Oh, I'm getting my stuff and going for a walk. I'm feeling so stressed. They want to know, like, everything. They want to be all up in your business 24-7, and I've only been here, like, half a day. But let's go get drunk. I know, I think by 12, we'll be free. 12. The teens are halfway through their stay with the Verk family, and the Shwani has an important announcement. Sundays, we generally go to the temple where we worship, OK? Tomorrow is more auspicious because my father passed away. So we hold a small ceremony, and it's since going to be towards my father, then definitely I'm not going to tolerate anything which is against the religion, OK? And Shola, you must see this dress. And whether it's long or short or loose or tight, because I don't want to hear anything about it in the morning, OK? Inside the Gurdwara, you need to cover your head. But look how thick that is, like. Why can't I just have it like that? It's not like thick. It looks nice on her, but green just doesn't go with my skin complexion. I don't really want to wear that. That you are arguing on a necessary issue. But I don't like issue. it. I told you the reason you like it, and you, I, I should bother about your liking, or what? I should respect like my father. You're getting a boner over nothing. Tell me. I should listen to your choice, or I should respect my father. I have told you. I have told you what it is for, and you are arguing over the dress. Is temple to show? Is a showcase? Is no. it a more model house? No. Then, do you want to show God how well you are dressed? That's not my God. That's your God. You can't just walk out of here. You have to finish this argument right now, or you walk out of the house from here. I'm not going out of the house. I'm going right out. now, you can go out. You want me to take you out? Get a fucking lighter, man. Jam. Again, you said fucking. Fucking word for for you. Why are you using this word? Because what's your problem? Just leave what's your problem? Out. Don't say fucking in my Get house. You just move out. Me. Just move out of my house. Get out! Just move out. Get me. Just don't try Get to... Me. Move, out. move out! Move out! Just move out! You're not loud here. I will talk to your parents and very throw you out of the house. You very shameful creature. You don't have respect for anybody's, anybody's life. I'm here, I'm trying to do something for my dead father, and you're trying to teach me what I should do. Just move out. That's what I'm doing. Just step. Oh, just step. Yes, what? Just step it. Out, out from here. Fuck you. Oh. I've explained the reason, and she wants to act smart. <laughs> this is not a fun project. All right, this is basically cleaning this entire racquetball court. You get as high as you can reach all the way around. I thought he was going to have me, like, full towels or something. Then he brings me to a racquetball court, telling me I have to scrub off all this stuff. I was so pissed off. This is our uh, laundry room area. Uh, I grabbed Samantha and took her downstairs and start to do her chores. As we empty one washer, you go out and you pull out more dirty towels, throw them in the washer and turn them back on and just keep the cycle going. So we need to fold more. They want to make sure the corners meet. We want everything to be first rate because I don't clean a freaking toilet because I'm grossed out or because he yells at me about not wearing a belt. He makes me scrub all the Moral, like, what's going through this guy's head is completely on me. All right. 
you were not excited about doing this, but I really appreciate the fact that you came down here and did the job and had a good attitude. You're good welcome. job, thank you. Samantha uh, had really complied, so we decided Samantha deserved a small reward. She was going to get to stay upstairs with mom and just drink coffee. Let me, let me clean all these dude. Now, what about, um, like, what do you see yourself doing after high school? Do you want to go to college? Yeah, um, I want to do my four year degree and become a nutritionist. I'm not like the her up there. I'm not going to sit there and suck up. I'm getting real pissed off. It is so hard to just come off. My arm is killing me. I want my jacket, and I'm, I'm leaving, well. just so you know. Because I don't clean a toilet, you make me scrub all this. You've, you, you've just got me to my limit. Like, I'm trying so hard to deck you in the face. Yeah. I'm about to yeah. hold this wall. And I was just like, I can't take it anymore. And then yeah, I just went crazy. I can't play anymore. No. Get it now. No. All right, then I'm finding no. it. He's uh, screaming and yelling. Uh, I really wanted to calm him down. This is my place of work. I don't want to have an embarrassing scene. You got to watch your language. No, I don't have to watch my language. You brought me to your place of business. You wanted this to happen. You gave me this knowing that I would go the hell off. I will break the window. I don't care. I'm not staying here. At that time of day, a lot of families are in the club, parents bringing their children for after school activities. There was a lot of people walking by, and I was kind of embarrassed. All right, okay. open it, please. Yeah. Look at all these marks. No, don't, no. You're no, staying, I'm leaving. You're Bye. Staying here. You're no, staying I'm here. not. You move. I'm not kidding. Now. I wasn't going to hold tough, you know, because. You know, the last thing I want to do is have a physical altercation. So he brushed by me, and he runs upstairs. I've never been this mad at someone in my life. You just got me to my limit, dude. You don't even know. You're the most disrespectful person I've ever met in my life. I was very exhausted with the whole situation with Nick, but there was no way I was going to give up. I don't know where he came from. All of a sudden, Nick was in the room with us. Why don't you take a seat? Nick, the anger is very destructive. I know how bad my anger is, but honestly, I can't control when I get angry. Like when I left, I had to leave because well, I was I'm glad you did. Steam. You know yeah. what? That's a very good reaction. That was. I'm serious. It was funny because yeah. at first I was going to go chase you, and I said, no, he's doing a very smart thing. When you get angry, get away from the situation. I don't think a person where if you try to discipline me, I'm not going to respond because you're showing me aggression, and when you show me aggression, I show aggression 10 times back. I'm not showing aggression towards you. You are perceiving that aggression. When we give consequences, that isn't because I'm showing you aggression because I'm just so mad and I'm going to show him. The consequences are there to teach you something. You can't keep stepping over a line. We want you to learn about respect. How do you react to your mom when she asks you to do things? If you love your mom, I think a great way to show her is by showing her respect. And that's what we're trying to do here with the chores and everything, okay? Is to show you how to show love through other means. Sometimes it may not make sense to you. But okay? it makes sense to other people, and that's the thing I have trouble with. Like, I understand where you're coming from now, but at the time, it was sure. different well, to me. Do you, are, you, are you feeling better? Yeah. Okay. I vented. Nice. Okay. We do have to go back and we have to talk about the consequences. What I want you to do is to, let, we never did get the tub scrubbed yesterday, so let's scrub the tub. And then we also want to use a toothbrush and to clean the grout on the tile floor. All right. Okay? That's fine. Thanks. Cool. I felt really good after the talk. Hey, Dion. All right. Ooh, I love so hugs. Nice. In a lot of ways, he is a hurting child inside. And yeah, it broke my heart. I'm more of a I hug person too. anyway. I am too. Are I you? love hugs.